I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants, and we travel the country coast to coast to find restaurants that you should dine at on a weekly basis. We're in Latonia, Kentucky at K Aloha's Kitchen. This is Val and the family. Val, what is K Aloha's Kitchen? K Aloha's Kitchen is a authentic Hawaiian cuisine that uh, we're bringing to the Midwest that we'd like to share our, you know, culture, our food, and our aloha with the people from the Midwest and greater Cincinnati area. It's an experience that you are about to find out what it's all about. Now we profile at least three menu items every episode. What are the three items we're gonna profile here? We're gonna get the Kanak attack. We're also gonna get a Spam Musubi, which, you know, people from uh, the mainland, they uh, associate people from Hawaii with Spam. So we're gonna do the Spam Musubi, and then we're gonna do a, uh, ancient uh, Hawaiian recipe, which is our ahi poke. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to ask what the ingredients are because I'm going to get the standard answer. I can't tell you, but that's okay. <laughs> I tell you what, you're watching a food show, so I know that you're interested to see what we're going to profile. So why don't you come with all of us and let's go check it out. Right. inside Val said three things it's like we have a lot more than three things but when you order you get a lot with every word yes sir all right so before we jump into the food though I gotta ask first and foremost you do not have a culinary background so what in the world got you into the restaurant business what was the motivating force behind that I guess it was uh us starting out with the food truck I always cook you know for barbecues for friends and families while I was in the military so as people, you know, as the years went by, they kept saying, hey, you should do a restaurant. And I always thought it was a lot of work. But it is, it is. <laughs> it is a lot of work, but it is gratifying also. So we started out with a food truck, which last year we started out a food truck on Mother's Day. We came out with our Hawaiian food truck and it was a real big success. I mean, people around here really loved it. So we decided to just jump into this restaurant, this carry out when we found out that we could, you know, open up at the end of our, our season because it was getting too cold to barbecue outside. But what got us in here was basically from our food truck. Got it. Now, I have to tell you, out of all the episodes that we have shot so far, this is the first one that we've done at Hawaiian menu. Cuisine. Yes. yes. Right first on. stop. Right on. So let's jump into this. Um, I'll tell okay. you what, why don't we start right we'll start. here this is and we will work forward. Right. What are we looking at? What we got right here is uh, we call ahi poke. Ahi poke is raw tuna seasoned with sesame oil, soy sauce, green onions, brown onions. Break bread with me. Yes, sir. And some masago is what I call. Masago is those uh, little roll fish eggs. Now, you're telling me the, the backstory about how this is put together. Okay. Right. When people in Hawaii catch a tuna, the first couple of days will be the, the nice slices, the prime slices of uh, what they call sashimi. Mm -hmm. And we eat that with soy sauce and wasabi. To prolong the life of the fish, we turn the rest of it into poke. So it lasts a lot longer for the refrigeration for the family. Because if not, it starts to spoil. So that way, when you season it, it'll last a lot longer. That's good. It's pretty good. good. I like it. First time I've ever had that. Is that right? First I'm time. glad See, you like it. First right time on. with Hawaiian cuisine. First, first time, time tasting poke. poke. He's got me do things that right on. I haven't done before. All right, let's go. What we Play have here two. is our, what we call our kanak attack. Our kanak attack, you get two scoops of rice, you get an egg roll that comes with it, you get the pineapple teriyaki beef short ribs, you got teriyaki chicken, marinated pork kebabs, and some Kahlua pig with cabbage and onions. Mm -hmm. So that's our, that's our teriyaki chicken. And see how oh, you like good. that. That's been marinated for a couple of days. I normally marinate all my meat a couple of days before I barbecue it and sell it. So that's why it's got a deep and flavorful taste to it. So is this your own twist on teriyaki? So this is my teriyaki flavored sauce, yeah. Mm. Homemade teriyaki. So without the culinary background per se, 
the ingredients, the cooking, is there something from family, grandma down the line, or did you just come up with this, you and your wife and your family on your own? Well, my mom, my mom and my sisters, they had a lot of influence and, you know, I guess a lot of friends throughout the years of um, 20 years in the Air Force, a lot of friends from Hawaii and their wives and their spouses would, you know, have dishes that I would like and try to duplicate. And this is pretty much all of my favorites. Everything on this table right here is all my favorites from back home. And I'm like pretty that. sure everyone back, every all the Hawaiians in the local area and the right. tri-state area love it also. So they, they all come and see us. Oh, man, that's good. But yeah, try that teriyaki beef short ribs and see how you like that. Now I just put my fork into the chicken. That's now okay. To try something that's else. okay. Mm. That is good. Also, what we got here is a big item that we've been selling quite a bit of. When we first opened the restaurant, people didn't really know what Spam Musubis was because a lot of people associate Hawaii with Spam. We love our Spam. Nothing but wrong with Spam. Nothing wrong with Spam. But we eat our Spams. We, we like to make little sandwiches with them. We call them Spam Musubis. A lot of people didn't know what they were. But as they got curious and started to find out, these are flying off the shelf around here. People love them, especially the spicy one. Now that's a spicy one and this is a regular. That's a sweet sriracha. Are you daring you to eat there. something spicy? Is that um, what you're saying? I don't know if you like spicy or not, Doug. <laughs> I love spicy. This kind of... Well, give it a shot. Kind of looks kinda like from a, from a layman person here, it looks like spam... Uh, sushi. Sushi. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a, I, I like to say it's a, a medley, a pork medley, a seared pork medley, surrounded by risotto, wrapped in Pacific kelp. Yeah, fancy word for a spam musu. <laughs> That's good. It's not too spicy. Got a little kick. Yes, sir. That's good. You can have one with me? In a minute? See? What happens at restaurants, as soon as someone takes a bite, they come up and they say something to you. Mm -hmm. So, see, so yeah, I did that on purpose. But anyway. That's good. Let me move on to our lumpia. Lumpia is a Philipp in the Philippines. That's a Filipino egg roll. Basically, lumpia means egg roll okay. in Spanish. But those are my twist on them. Inside of them, you'll find ground pork, cabbage, carrots, glass noodles, and my special seasoning. Special seasoning. Yes, sir. That's Go ahead and try one. Yeah. Nah, you can ask. We we'll put fish sauce and a little bit of oyster sauce in there. We have two types of sauces that we offer. One is just vinegar. There's vinegar and garlic with black pepper. Now the vinegar, it helps cleanse your palate. Once you've eaten fried food, you kind of have that film of oil mm -hmm. in your mouth. But if you finish off with the vinegar, it kind of cleanses that palate. Vinegar breaks up that oil for you. Very good. But with the, with the Kanaka Tech, you also get a choice of your salads, which is mm -hmm. our spicy green papaya salad, or a potato mac salad, or a tomato cucumber salad. So any one of these salads will come with this Kanak attack. Gotcha. I love it. And hopefully you'll be in a food coma afterwards. We will dig into all of this and even more in just a minute. But so, quick background. The restaurant itself with the name is actually honoring your brother, correct? Yes, sir. It's my older brother. He called me a few years back. Yeah, probably about 2007. This is a, quite a ways back, wasn't it? But anyway, he said, hey, uh, I bought some property between Sacramento and Reno. And he said, I know a lot of the Hawaiians from the Sacramento area like to go to Reno to go gambling. He says, I know you like to cook. He says, why don't you come out here? We'll open up a restaurant. We'll catch the Hawaiians going and coming. So I said, well, hold on. I said, you know, my kids are still little. They're in grade school. I said, when they get a little older, I'll come out there. Fortunately, he died of a massive heart attack at the age of 52. So this was my way of bringing him along the ride by naming my food truck after him. So this is my way of bringing him along the restaurant ride that we were supposed to venture on. But Love that. So he is along for the ride? Yes, sir. And you're doing yes, a sir. darn fine job. We're doing it. Love Thank it. you. All right, so this is just some of the menu items. How can people find you? You're in Latonia, Kentucky. Yes, sir. But online social website how do people find you, you? can find us on facebook kelo's kitchen or kelo's kitchen.com uh, also in instagram very good and they also have a full listing right here on america's best restaurants 
www.ghostbusters.com. So if you're in the Northern Kentucky area, if you're visiting, there's always things going on around here. This is one place you need to put on your list. And if you live in this area, for heaven's sakes, this is a place you should be at on a weekly basis, which is the essence of our show, to find those restaurants that you need to be at on a regular basis. And if you want to find out more, then you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel right here. Just simply click the button and you're in and you're good. Val, much appreciated. Thank you, Yeah, Doug. and this too. <laughs> what is this again? This is a shaka sign. Hang okay. loose. Uh, we always throw up a shaka sign, acknowledge your friends and family. You know, it's like, hey, what's happening? Love it. This has been a learning experience for me. So you come down and have your own learning experience. Check out Val and the family. You're going to thank me for it later. It's time for us to dig in and eat a little bit more. We're out. Mahalo.